Hello everyone, Rika here, and welcome back to the Dark Side Detective, a fumble in the dark, Twilight Years. So, what I was able to do, I was on the right track with the closet door, only instead of the table, I needed to put the paper down there. And I missed an item in Granny's room, which was some sewing needles. And you poke the sewing needles through and you get the closet key, so let's go see what's in the closet. Let's see what's in here then. Wait, does he live in here? Have you seen... Have you seen the rental market? Something cozy like this is a find. If you say so, Dooley. Garlic. Who keeps garlic on their wall? It's pretty loose. So, not this guy anymore. Okay, we needed garlic. Religious stuff. Collection of religious icons from a number of faiths. Class photo? Oh, wait a second. Must be Seamus. Looks like he graduated alone. No, wait. Look at the clothes. There are others. They're alright. They're just... invisible? The plaque says class of 1809. E. Bathory. C. Orlock. V. Tepis. S. Murphy. C. Count, M. Karnstein, L. The Lion Court. I feel like... Huh. I don't want to say it just yet, but... Because I don't remember who made that. But... Huh. S. Murphy, that's our Seamus, the caretaker. Who? The caretaker... We're in his room. Caretaker? What caretaker? The guy in your nan's closet hanging upside down? Not ringing any bells. Sorry, detective. Okay, we got the class photo. Stack of self-help books. They look recently purchased. Dresser. Normal enough. Socks, pants, vests, and a black cape with a red velvet lining and a high collar. Wait. One of those things is not as normal as the others. Wait, there's a set of keys in here. They could be useful. Ah, finally. Okay. So, is Seamus a vampire? It's empty, but there are bits of torn up mail all around it. Whatever post he got, he must have thrown out. It might be important. Are you okay, Frosty? You okay, Babber? Little Babby? Babby, Babby? Okay. All right, so I know where the smelly keys go. You can get down, Bubby. There you go. It's okay. Lay down. No, you lay down, silly. Okay. So the smelly keys go to these. Okay, let's see what's in these. I'm not seeing anything in here. What about you, Dooley? What? Oh, uh, no. You weren't looking, were you? Look, you know what? Uh, you know I wasn't looking. I know I wasn't looking. But you can't prove anything. So let's move on, yeah? Let's see. Well, that was just filled with thrown away teeth. Nightmare fuel. Hmm, there's a copy of the media magazine variation here. It has a note attached. Just wanted to share the good news with V. Interesting. Film previews. Good news, huh? Hmm. It's a reminder to buy milk, garlic, and more garlic. So do we... Maybe we put it in the bin? No? Okay. Uh... So... Okay. We don't show that to Seamus, do we? What more?
Why do we have so many sandwiches and things? Other than you broke into my room and stole something? Yes, clearly apart from that. That was evident. Novelty photo from the fair I went to last summer with some old college mates. That's all fake. Hmm. There's something here I'm missing. I feel like I haven't... Like I have all the pieces, but just haven't put them together yet. Let's see. The main issue's focus seems to be a film about Dracula. Dracula. He's a famous vampire based off of old European count, Vlad Tepes. Name doesn't ring a bell. Where would... Where would I have met him? I mean, you wouldn't have met him. He died centuries ago. Oh, okay, I understand right. So do we go to Europe and arrest him? Or is there a TLPD EU spin-off show? <laughs> We're not... We're not arresting him. So we just let him get away with it? Oh, away with what? It's just a story. Hmm. Sure. That's what they say about the platypus. But I know it's out there. I'll find you yet, you duck-faced raccoon. Do we give this to him, then? Recognize this? That holds lettuce. No, the magazine that that the lettuce is on. Not mine. Don't really care for the silver screen. Wait. Oh. Okay, Vlad Tepes. There must be V... That must be V Tepes from Seamus' class photo. He's getting a film made about his life. Maybe that has something to do with all this. Let's go ask Seamus. Okay, there we go. Why is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula real? Uh, are you? Are you a vampire? I mean, define vampire. Blood-sucking monster? First of all, monster is a loaded term. And not all vampires drain blood. That's just sanguinarians. There are emotional vampires, too, and reverse versions of both. I am a reverse emotional vampire. People feel what I feel. Wait. How does a reverse sanguinarian work? Fairly disgustingly. Fit best... Uh... At best, it's a guy in an alley offering you a sack of blood. Or a sack of blood. Ugh. I don't want to know what the worst case is, so wait. If you're a reverse emotional vampire, and everyone here is acting up... When Vlad sent me his film stuff, I started thinking, what am I doing with my life? Everybody else is famous and respected. I'm just a caretaker, you know? Maybe I need to change what I'm doing. What I'm doing, you know? You're having a midlife crisis, so everyone here is having one too? Yeah, sorry about that. Not much I can do to change it. Okay, Dooley. All we need to do is cheer up this guy and everyone will stop acting like loons. Okay. So, garlic then? Hmm... Okay... Ah! Oh, we can talk to Nan about it. Um, how does one undepress a vampire? I don't know. Throw them a party with all their friends and loved ones? That might work, actually, but where... But where? Everyone... Everywhere around here is a mess. Uh was. Still is a vampire. Anyway, at my age, you learn that none of that stuff matters. It's just nice having a friend. I don't know. Everyone has been very much not acting their age since the postman came 
this morning. What kind of post did they deliver? Nothing unusual, just a few letters here and there. People, weekly, magazine, subscriptions, that kind of thing. Hmm. Okay, I don't think we need to worry too much. Um. Okay. So we know that we need to do a party. Is there anything left? Stan. Huh. Oh yeah, there's nothing that way. Okay. Well, we need to put the table up here, because I found out that the table needs to go here, but he says something about a specially shaped tool to assemble this. And I haven't found the tool. So... Where... Huh. I... Okay, I'll be back when I find the tool, I guess, because that's gotta be what I need. Oh, here's something. The lights are back on in the staff room. The snoring has stopped, too. I didn't want to say it, but that's snoring. But that's snoring, right? It was something else. No wonder everyone is off their rocker. The real mystery here is, prob is probably sleep deprivation. Okay, so... Oh. Keys. A set of strange-looking keys. They're mine, my hex keys. I use them to curse people and build flat pack furniture. It says you're gonna need them, so you can have them if you promise to bring them back. I don't think we ever return- Shh, Dooley, of course we'll bring them back. Right back, as soon as we're done. I sense that you won't. Oh man, this guy's spooky. Okay. Well, now we have the thing. But I guess let's inspect this room and make sure that we have everything. Who is this guy? Witch doctor? Seems to be a staff rota. Some post-its, too. Sue says the next coven meeting has been moved as the, com uh, as the community hall was blocked by a local Illuminati chapter. Wang rang, and he says he's out of... Lang Lang? Yell, yell, I can't say it. I have no idea. Fine practice voodoo dolls, Martin says. He's all pins and needles since the last session, and not in a good way. Uh, they could be anyone's. Private, by the way. Notes. Somebody left a toolbox here. Oh yeah, Seamus was trying to fix the vending machine. He must have forgotten to tidy up uh, in all the chaos. I wonder if there's anything of interest in here. Screwdriver, more like a stake driver, am I right? You know he's a vampire, right? That's really offensive. I realized as soon as I said it, I feel terrible. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Wait, there's food in here. It's... or there's no food in here. It's just clean socks, religious tomes, and rhyming couplets predictions. Uh... Aw, oh, damn, things bust. Listen, the brown cloaked man will get this place out of a jam with a gift. Spirits will be lifted. Sure, it's accurate, but those are some dirty rhymes. Uh, okay, a uh, lamp. If you like it, you can take it home with you if you'd like. My little gift to you. Thanks, but it's him who's more into taking items. Oh, he cannot have it. It's not for him. <laughs> I wouldn't drink that. I'm building up my tolerance for... Uh... A tear? For a trip to Midgar? I don't know if I said that right. Um. 
Normal visiting hours are almost done, which means it's almost... Conjugal time? Various notice for staff. Please don't smuggle the elderly out of raves. Or out for raves. Stop stealing dentures. We're going to find you. Practicing witchcraft on or for the patients is frowned upon. <laughs> of course they'd say that. Large white throw rug. Or er, rug like throw. What kind of animal is it? Maybe a polar bear? The unclassified kind. I killed that baby when I was on my Erasmus scholarship to the lost city of Z. Oh. Okay, we needed that. Doctor, any opinions on what's happening here? Happening here? Everything seems pretty normal to me. What? Everyone is acting like wild teenagers. How can you think that's normal? Teenagers are pretty wild, man. Yeah, but old people aren't. You just said they were. You're making no sense. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm the resident medical expert, after all. You mean medical expert? Surely. I meant what I said. Now let me go back to my nap before I make a voodoo doll out of all the parking tickets I have in my pocket. Okay. So, I think we have mostly everything we need to set up this table. So, the hex key seems to be the right piece needed to build this. Let's give it a go. Cool. You do that and I'll uh, keep watch. Oh, I actually have to build it. Cute. Right. Let's see what we have here. Some legs, a top, a few holdy together bits, and I have a I have to follow instructions to assemble. Okay, so the instructions are in Swedish. No problem. I'll just use the picture. Easy, right? Okay, so top. Cool. Uh, leg. Leg. Bar. Leg. <laughs> I like how it says borked. <laughs> and bar. Oh, yeah, because this was, um, when you click on the description for this table, it was, um, I don't want to try to say it, but it's literally Ikea backwards. And I thought that was funny. There we go. One borked table ready for use. Alright, so we can put the sandwiches on the table? I need these to lure out Seamus, and I'm not convinced they'll do unless I make them more- Oh, okay, let's put the garlic. Can't throw a party without finger food for the guests of honor. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so garlic sandwiches. Alright. Then... Put the cups of tea. Okay. And then the white throw, maybe? No? Um, okay. What else do we need? Maybe we put this over here? White carpet? Wait, what? White carpet seems to lack the gravitas we want. Oh, do I need to turn it red? Or something? Oh, I know what I need to do. We need to put it in the washing machine. Alright. Now I need something to turn it red. Something to turn it red. The bulb? No. Hmm. Something to turn it red. Okay, I know. Uh, they said that it could come down. Yeah. Alright, we have disco lights. I still haven't figured out. Ah. 
Aha! Here we go. Okay, I finally found it. I needed to get into the guy, the, the stand guy's room. So I used the credit card on the back door. So there we go. Sorry, guy. Gotta come in and make sure you're not doing anything dangerous in there. What? Who are you? How did you get in? Uh, I guess you're in now. No point in trying to chase you off. What do you want? Uh, your red shirt would be nice. You a fan of Space Hop, then? Yeah, you too, eh? Fan of it? I was in it. Wait, you're not. Stan Deman, the original red shirt. No way, Dooley. This guy got killed every week, and then he'd be back the following week with no explanation. Confusingly worded contracts. That's your explanation. Wow, the magic of show business. Say, you want to take the red shirt as a souvenir? I have a load of them, one for each death. Yes, please. Well, thank you. I finally found the thing that I was looking for this whole time. That's where the magic happens. Card tricks, spoon bending, and disappearing coins. Though that last one is just me dropping my money down the back of my bed. That's from the very first episode way back when we were black and white shirts. <laughs> is this the classic it came from outside the ship episode of of Space Hop? Yes, that's the one. Oh. Cool. Special effects back then weren't that advanced, so they actually had to have me dragged out of an airlock by a tentacle for this stunt. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Do we need to talk to him? What do you want? Uh... Because I didn't want to get dragged into everyone's drama out there. It's mayhem, not for me. That's nonsense. I caused all my trouble when I was young, lad. Like you two, I'm happy with my lot. No regrets from old Stan, no siree. I was. I had a good career on the Flickr box. Silver screen, too. Heck, I even released three albums. Dead Weekly, Red Shirt, uh, Be Alert, and Starships in the Night. Times weren't always easy. I wasn't a big name actor and money was often tight, but I was happy with what I got and lived a life of gratitude. It's great to hear, Stan. The vampire? He's alright. Bit moody for my liking. I'm more of a sci-fi guy than a gothic horror. <laughs> but you knew he was a vampire. You don't get killed as often as I did without developing a sixth sense for monsters. Neat. Okay. I'd say grow old and be content, but I think you've already got that nailed. <laughs> You're a good kid. Kid. Dorks. <laughs> okay. Now that I finally figured that out, now we just need to put this red shirt in with the bear rug. Well, I know it's not a bear, but... In you go, shirt. Sorry to do this to something so valuable, but Stan did say he had a load of them. I think that's it. Now I turn it on. Okay. Well, shirt and rug are in there, so it's time to turn it on. Okay. Oh, we're waiting. There we go. Died throw. Okay, that turned the rug red. That's carpety, right? Okay. Now. We can put this over here and this should be it. It's not an award ceremony without a red carpet. I think we're good to go. Look, people are already starting to gather. Yum! Tea! All the better for being free. Pass me a sandwich. It's so bright out! Do these taste like garlic? <laughs> What's all this? I got the smell of some delicious garlic sandwiches, then saw it was 
daytime and figured I should eat something. It's a surprise party. A thanks for everything you've done to help these people. Like an award ceremony. Best, uh, best friends category. The world's a little easier with a best friend. Yeah, it's, it is, buddy. That it is. Oh, how lovely. Where's the award then? Uh, oh, right. Uh, Patrick has it. Uh, of course I do. I do. Yes, the gift I asked you to bring. It was an award for Seamus. I knew you boys would have put on this show to save the day, but we were actually, uh, but we actually really did get him an award. We know he's a reverse vampire, and because of that, we really enjoyed our time here. We feel his love for us. So we got him an actual award to say thanks. N it's not a movie deal, but we hoped you'd like it. Oh, you guys. Three cheers for Seamus. Hooray! He's only getting the one cheer. We don't have time to repeat ourselves. Now you boys, come to my room. I have a letter for Patrick. Patrick, you have to go to Ireland. What now? Family tradition, all duallys have to do a coming-of-age ceremony. I presumed that they didn't invite you because, you know, American. But it turns out the invite got mixed in with the love letters from your grandpa. I was reading them earlier today when Seamus was feeling down. I'm too old to go with you, and I hate traveling, so you'll need to bring somebody else. Will you come, detective? Of course, Dooley. Yay! Looks like the Trouble Brothers are going to Ireland. The Trouble Brothers? Yeah, it's... Is that not what we call ourselves? It's what I call us. Anyway, to Ireland! All right, neat. So that's it for that one. Uh, let me double check the time. Yeah, we're going to end this one here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will pick up with Druid's Delight in the next episode. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And just remember, everything blue is awesome. Rika, signing out.